CataractCoach.com. What is the secret regimen for Dr. Marguerite McDonald for success with PRK? Now, here on our podcast, we featured incredible guest, Dr. Marguerite McDonald. As you know, the first surgeon ever to use an eczema laser to ablate that cornea in a patient and really a pioneer in corneal refractive surgery. Truly a role model for us all, and we benefit from her work every day in our clinics. When we were talking in the podcast, she said something very interesting to me, that she stopped doing LASIK and now only does advanced surface ablation, or PRK, photorefractive keratectomy. Take a listen. I've gone back to doing 100% PRK. I have a perioperative regimen. They don't have any pain. They walk in the next day uh, with white eyes, and they're usually at least 20, 25 the next day, even though they still have a defect, an epithelial defect that's closing. But my perioperative regimen, I've taken years to perfect it. It's just wonderful they don't can you give it can you give us some insight i want a copy i would be glad to send it to you i'd be glad to send it to anybody so wow that sounds amazing to be able to give patients such a brief and easy procedure with such a good and simple post-op outcome that's pain-free and provides good vision i had to know more so i asked dr mcdonald please share with us your exact procedure what are you doing i want to know everything how do you do the procedure? How are you removing epithelium? Then you do the procedure with the laser. That's the easy part. Do you do mitomycin C? If so, what concentration for how much time in all patients or some? And then most importantly, in the post-op period, what are the medications you use so that so many of your patients can just be pain-free and have a beautiful outcome? And here are all the details. Dr. McDonald likes this EpiClear device from Orca. It's a single-use device that has two blades in it, and as you can see, it passes along the corneal epithelium and removes it layer by layer. So as you go across the epithelium, one layer is being removed, then the other, and your goal is to get down to Bowman's layer and have a perfectly smooth Bowman's layer with no residual epithelial cells. And as you can see, this device seems to do a pretty good job of it in this animation. Once you have that smooth Bowman's layer, we can proceed with the eczema laser ablation here. Now the ablation, of course, is the easy part. And once the ablation is done, Dr. McDonald does use mitomycin, 15 seconds is 0.02%, but only for ablations of 75 microns or deeper. Now let's talk about the drops. Here's the post-op regimen. And you can see these are the instructions that she gives her patients. And there are two types of drops prescribed by the pharmacy and the ones that buy over the counter. So the first thing that's prescribed is Predforte. And you're being used four times a day in the operating eye for seven days. That's your steroid, obviously. Then Bessie Vance is your antibiotic. Again, four times a day for seven days. And then an NSAID, Acuvail, which is Ketorolac, preservative-free. And that's used up to four times a day for just three days after the surgery. And that's for pain, as needed for discomfort. Vicodin tablets are prescribed for patients as well. And those can be used, if needed, only for severe pain. If you're a non-diabetic patient, there's also some prednisone. So oral tablets, starting with 80 milligrams the first day, and then you can see 80 milligrams again the next day, and then a pretty quick taper down over the course of about a week. So that's oral prednisone tablets, and of course that's gonna be paired with some Nexium, which is a proton pump inhibitor to make it a little bit easier on the stomach to tolerate. There are also comfort drops, which is a 10th of, of 1% of tetracaine, so 0.1% as needed, that's given to the patient. Of course, to over-the-counter is preserve-free artificial tears, some cellulose drops, some ointment for nighttime, and if you need to, Tylenol extra strength, and of course, you can even use ice packs. So this is a pretty reasonable regimen. I think I like it a lot. Here are the over-the-counter ones. I like that she provides instructions with photos. So there's the cellulose drops. The preservative-free artificial tears, she, can, she says any brand you like, as long as it's truly preservative-free. There's the ointment, which is going to help for nighttime lubrication. And again, this is a very good regimen, and she reports incredible success. I am anxious to try it. Thank you, Dr. McDonald. Wow, that is some great information, and I'm going to incorporate this into my own practice, and I hope you will also take it to heart and give your patients the benefit of this amazing regimen. Thank you.